Hi, I'm Sandata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Database Administration Series. And our topic for today is about the part one of a review of database concept. Now let's proceed to our topic for today. So first, what is a database? A database is a collection of logically related data. Example, personal information such as name, address, birthday, and gender. Now next is what is a schema? A schema or a database schema is the overall design of a database. Next, what is a database system? A database system is an automated system that enables user to define, create, maintain, and control access to the database. Now, if we're going to identify the difference of a database and a database system, is that database can be automated and can be manual, while database system is only for the computer. Next, what are the components of a DBMS environment? data, hardware, software, and users, and procedures. So we have different facilities that DBMS provide. First is the user can define the database through a data definition language. So when we say data definition language, it meant to say you're going to identify what is the name you're going to use in your definition of the database. Next, User can manipulate data through a data manipulation language. That is true. You can edit, you can change, you can manipulate the data as long as it could be correct. Third, DBMS can provide security system. Yes. Um, since we create a database management system, um, of course, you need to put uh, security like password. Another is encryption. Those are security system of the DBMS. Next, DBMS can provide an integrity system. That is true. Uh, integrity in terms of those data are considered to be correct. And there is no wrong information on the database itself. Second is, there is no redundancy. Third is, the data that they're going to input is thoroughly identified from its normal forms. So next we have DBMS can provide a concurrency control system. That is true. Uh, we can segregate uh, data. We can identify uh, the finished product. We can get the more useful data in the database itself. Next, DBMS can provide a recovery control system. So this is what you call the backups. Okay, we can back up the system and we can back up also the database. We can back up also the data, and that is what you call the recovery control system. So it is an example of uh, the the DPI, which is considered to be a system glitch, and after a few days they can they already recovered the the amount which is necessary for individual depositor of the bank. Next topic we have the different entity relationships. So we have four, one to one, one to many, many to one, many to many. By the way, relationships um, in the database can be identified through its tables and what are the fields inside its table. Next, what is a relational database? A relational database is divided into logical units called table, which is composed of rows and columns of data. Next, what is a relation? A relation is composed of rows and columns of data. Now, what is an attribute? In the relational database, the co table columns corresponds to attributes. Then what is a domain? A domain refers to a set of valid atomic values for a given attribute. Next, what is a primary key? A primary key refers to an attribute or field that serves as a unique identifier for a particular record within a relation. Now what is SQL, which is our topic? 
for this uh, semester. So SQL's structured query language is the standard languages to define, query, update, and maintain relational databases. So it identifies only three, define, query, and update. So it is similar as create, view, save, and delete. That is simple how SQL is. Next, we have main categories of SQL commands are as follows. First is the data definition language, DDL. So there are series of commands in DDL. Data manipulation language, DML. So there are plenty of uh, codes in DML. Next is the data query language, something like a view. Okay, so there are queries like select, okay, uh, that is uh, DQL. Next, we have data control language or DCL. And the last is the transaction control commands. Congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture number 8. Thank you and good luck.